Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Town. So as guys in the previous video, we have discussed about the sum function. I have told you about the various properties of the sum function, how you can use it. Okay, and still you if you have any doubt, I have the sheet here. Okay guys, now guys, what we will do in this today's video, I will tell you about the maximum and minimum that function provided in the Excel. Okay. Now you would be thinking that this thing I have told earlier also, but guys in this video, I will tell you that thing in a very deep. Okay. So please watch this video till the end. Okay. So now before discussing it, let us know the some basic of the max function. So the max function is also a pre-made function in Excel, which finds the highest number in a range. Okay. So in this function, we provide a range to our Excel and we lock it through our equal to sign. Okay. Like for an example, I will show you this thing. Okay. Let me create a new Excel sheet only. Yeah. Perfect. So guys, this function tell us the highest number in a range. It is typed by the max. Okay. So the syntax is very simple. We use max here. Okay. I hope that this thing is very clear you have to hit double uh, double click on the max to start it okay guys so now for an example guys we have a excel data here wait a second let me open it okay guys perfect as you can see i have a data in which we have a Pokemon data Okay, and the type 1 and the type 2 total stat Okay, everything is there in this data So guys, we will perform a max operation on this. So how we will perform it. Let me create a Separate for it Okay, so the guys syntax is very simple. We have to start with the equal to and we have to double click click on this max and the next thing we have to do is very simple we have to include all this column and as soon as i print the enter see guys i am getting the 525 here okay so 525 let us see it is guys the maximum number in this column that's why we are getting the answer okay now if i change this 525 to suppose 100 Okay, so now our answer is also changed to the, wait a second. Okay, now let us see the 510 here where it is. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Now suppose if I change it to any like alphabetical, like I suppose write the fruit here so now what would be our answer let us see it let us print it so okay so guys now this value is neglected okay so it will not like include it suppose at the place of 505 let us again write uh, any and then print the enters so the value is again changed okay guys i hope that this thing is very much clear how to use the max, max function in the excel now let us change this thing to our original it was a 500 here suppose okay perfect guys now guys we will learn about the main function so the syntax of min is very simple let me write it down you have to again start with the okay, okay so this is the syntax the min as you can see and you can always see the your formula by clicking control and plus this which is at this sign you can see which is at the left hand side of the one key present in the keyboard okay so now we will use the min function here so the syntax is very simple we will use the min and include all these here as soon as i print the enter see guys now i'm getting the minimum value which is the 100 okay where is the 100 actually i have also 
if I change it to the zero, so the minimum value is zero for sure. So now, now the minimum value is the 20. Okay, guys, this is how the minimum and maximum function works in the Excel. And guys, trust me that these two functions will be most used function when you, you will move towards the data science. Okay, because this thing is the very like basic. Suppose you are calculating the marks of any student in a school or you are, you are having a data. So this would be very much useful to find the minimum, maximum and though in the average also. Now we will work more on the other data. So we'll see some data in our this sheet. Yeah, okay. So this is the previous data, data for which we have done the some performance. So now if I calculate the minimum sale of the January. So the how can I see it? Wait a second. Let me close this. Minus 300. Wait a second. Okay. Now we will include this and as for the print enter minus 300. Okay, guys, let us see why we are getting the minus 300 here. Guys, actually, we have the formula run in our this. So let me delete this formula after it. It will work in the proper manner. Okay, guys, so now if I now run this minimum. So let us get the answer. It is not working. Let us create the new here. Minimum. So the minimum we will use. Why it is not showing the answer? The issue is same again. Guys, we have to delete this formula. Otherwise, our this program will not run. It will affect our answer. So now, guys, now let us print the minimum value here okay so now if i press the enter again i am getting this load let us check from the here why we are not getting our answer we have to give it a fractions and this text no it would not be a text it would definitely be a number okay so why it is not working let us see so guys, we have found the error and you know what the thing is actually this data is not uh, in the format like this data. Okay, as you can see this data is in the for the processing data. So the format is different. Okay, and that is a very long process to change it this for that thing. I will made a separate video. Okay, you don't have to worry on that part. You can see that's why. And guys, you know why we are getting this whenever in the Excel, like you are the any value which is not correct or not executable. So our code is like shown in the format as you can see on the screen, it will not do anything. Okay, I have done this thing to show you how the error works in the Excel guys, like in the Python, the error are also there in the Excel for sure. For more practice, let us create a data here only suppose 10, 20. okay wait a second let us create here in this suppose we have a wait a second there is another formula you entered okay we don't have to want to So let us create here a more data. Okay. Okay. Now, if I have to find the minimum and maximum of this, I have told you earlier also the simple start with the minimum. Okay. And use this, press the enter. We are getting the three, which is the minimum. Okay. If I change this five to the two the same thing will work it will show you the two now okay guys i hope that this thing is very much clear how you can 
use the minimum and the maximum if i want to find the maximum this thing can be also do in a very simple way just press the enter see guys now i'm getting the maximum okay guys i hope that you all like this video and guys please subscribe to our channel press the like button and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from the dev town